Are you a new YouTuber? Are you stressed and overwhelmed about making your YouTube videos? Okay, relax, relax. You've came to the right place. Hold on. Get comfortable, go get you some tea. I'm about to answer all of your questions. What's up everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today's episode is gonna be an amazing, helpful resource for you guys because we are gonna be talking about some beginner YouTube mistake. Now, when you first start a YouTube, there are so many things that you have to remember. There are so many things that you have to learn. There are so many websites that you have to go to so you can really perfect your craft. And that's okay because in order to perfect a skill, you must always practice it. So this video was really gonna help you if you are a beginner YouTube, or maybe if you just wanna know more information about some YouTube mistakes that you may be making and you just really wanna perfect your craft, maybe you wanna work on your editing or your camera presence, this is the video for you. So the main mistake that most starting YouTubers make is the fact that you are not verifying your channel. What is verifying your channel? Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you. So why do we need to verify our channels? We need to verify our channels because one, you cannot make a thumbnail without your channel being verified. In order for your channel to be verified, you do not need any fancy tools. All you need to do is go to your settings and next to your profile on the settings, there is a blue verify button. Now this is next to your channel. Once you click on that button, Google personally sends you a text message or an email so that you can verify your channel. It literally takes a couple of seconds. Once you do this process, oh my gosh, now your channel is verified. So why do you need your channel to be verified? Again, just remember you need to make crafty thumbnails, okay? So what is a thumbnail? A thumbnail is the picture that you see when you go to someone else's video. For example, when you look at my other videos that I've made, you'll see pictures that are the cover slash profile picture for that particular video. This is very, very important. If you do not verify your account, then YouTube itself, they choose your own thumbnail. So typically a thumbnail can be a little small snippet of your actual video. So you really wanna have your own main control over this so that you can create crafty thumbnails. Next on the list is a long intro. When I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to have the latest music. I wanted people to vibe out to my music. I thought about implementing pictures and everything in there. Look, you do not need a long intro. Some people's intros are 30 seconds or a minute. Sorry, when people go to videos, they want to see your content and they want to see your content very quickly. So with that being said, you really don't need a long intro. Make your intro maybe 10 or 15 seconds or less. Get to the point because that's why we are here. Which brings me to my next mistake that most beginning YouTubers make and that is rambling. When I go on YouTube videos, I hate when people are rambling like what are we talking about here why am i going to you to look at a flatbread recipe and you over here telling me what you and your auntie did last week ma'am i'm not interested let's get into the video i'm here i'm hungry i'm trying to learn the recipe let's keep it moving next mistake we're going to be talking about your niche so what is that i did talk about this on my very first video and basically what this is is a brief description on what your YouTube channel is about. So for example, if you are a cooker, then okay, great. We all know that when we go to your page, we are gonna be expecting some bomb cooking videos. If you are a makeup artist, we are gonna be expecting some bomb makeup videos. So for example, for my channel, my channel is all about elevation, self-growth, and transparency. So at my channel, we're gonna be doing a lot of different things. We're gonna be talking about therapy. We're gonna be talking about my experiences. I also like to cook. So I'm also going to be sharing to you guys some cooking recipes, as well as workout routines. I may be putting some makeup stuff in here, but at the end of the day, all of my videos is gonna be about self-growth and personal development. So if you see a cooking video with me or a meal prep and I'm going to the grocery store, that's still a part of self-growth in its own way because you need to be saving money. You eating out too much. So look at my video. Another mistake is expectations. You are expecting to have 
100,000 subscribers in three days. You just started your YouTube channel. Why are you doing that? Stop doing that. Expectations lead to disappointments. And you know, you just really want to make sure that you're not overwhelming yourself, okay? Overwhelming yourself also coincides with having a YouTube set schedule for when you upload your videos. We'll talk about that a little later. Starting a YouTube takes a lot of time and it takes patience, okay? I know we sit here and we compare ourselves to all these YouTubers and they're always like, yeah, you know, my page popped up in like a year and this happened and I make $15,000 a month. Listen, make sure that your expectations are reasonable, okay? You don't wanna overwork yourself. You don't wanna overstress yourself. So just make sure that you set expectations for your channel. And please stop comparing yourself. You cannot compare your three week old YouTube channel to someone who's had their YouTube channel for five years. In regards to growth, you've literally only had your channel for three weeks or so. Why are you comparing your data to someone else's? Please stop. In your settings, please stop checking your analytics every hour on the hour, you guys. It's okay. Check your analytics maybe two or three times a week. It's fine. When you're a beginning YouTuber. You don't want to stress yourself out. You're not going to have 5,000 views and 10,000 comments and 30,000 likes in the first week. Calm down, Calm down child. child. You only got 30 subscribers. Up next, we're going to be talking about your camera presence are you looking into the camera are you looking down while you talking to people are you looking to the side while you making your videos are you just not looking at the camera at all like i'm not right now now i am what you doing make sure that your camera presence is spectacular now you can record your videos horizontally or you can record your videos vertically okay when you record your videos horizontally you have to make sure that you are directly looking in the camera so right now i'm looking in the camera but i'm not completely looking straight in the middle of my camera right now right now i'm actually looking at the small kind of camera thingy whatever on the left side, kind of like when you talk on your phone, that's where I'm looking. People wanna be able to relate to you, people wanna see that you're actually looking at them on their videos, so write that down. Another beginner YouTube mistake is the fact that you are not knowledgeable on the topic that you're even talking about. Make sure that when you put out content that you're doing research on it, maybe it's one of your experiences, or even a vlog. Make sure that your vlogs are very well put together because like, what are you even doing? You know what I mean? So just make sure that everything is organized and everything is put together. Which brings me to my next point of being disorganized. Organization is vital to the overall and longevity of success with your YouTube channel. So how can we become organized? We can become organized by getting a notebook. You can come in, Mom. Cause I can just cut this out. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you just cut it out, it's okay. So you can be organized by getting a notebook and you can also be organized by getting a laptop. You can get your notes and put your notes in your phone. Sometimes I'm chilling on my bed and I'm like, man, I don't know what my next YouTube video is gonna be like. And what do I do? Either I'm searching on YouTube or maybe I have some other notes. I kinda like my videos to be organized. I don't really wanna be talking about keto recipes and then my next video, I'm talking about divorce. It just doesn't make sense. So I just wanna make sure and I want you guys to make sure that all of your YouTube videos are organized. So another very, very, very popular and common beginner YouTube mistakes is copyright music. You guys, I'm telling you, when you do get monetized, you are not gonna be able to get paid or anything off of those videos if you are using copyright music. I did not know. Matter of fact, my very first video, I actually got an email from YouTube and they're saying that it was copywritten. So I actually had to change my music because of that. So what does it mean for you to get a flag or an email from YouTube based off of copyright issues? If you want to add copyright music, you can go on YouTube and you can actually search jazz copyright music or free jazz or free hip hop copyright music to implement into your video. So when you do research the copywritten music on someone else's YouTube channel, they will have in their comment box or their description box the actual passage that you can put in your video in your comment section. Because you do wanna make sure if you are using someone else's music that you are giving them the credit that they deserve. I'm pretty sure they worked hard. So make sure that you copy and paste what they want in their comment section into yours. So in a couple of my videos, you will see at the beginning of my video, you will see that I have six to eight seconds 
of music. The reason that I can do that is if you actually are going to use a song from an artist, then you cannot use more than eight seconds of that song. If you use more than eight seconds of that song, then you are gonna get a nice little handy dandy email from YouTube saying that this YouTube has officially been flagged for copyright. So just make sure, keep it in mind, write it down if you have to. Here, here's a pen, just write it down, child. Shoot, look, get your little notebook too because I know y'all gonna be missing that. Don't be coming on my comment section talk about, oh, Lee said that I could do this and my stuff is 8.5 seconds. But then I just tell you that you need to do eight seconds. Okay. Next YouTube mistake for beginners is lack of consistency. In life in general, we need to be consistent. You need to be consistent at your job. You need to be consistent at eating healthy. You need to be consistent at achieving and trying to achieve your goals. So when you create a YouTube channel, this is like a job. Treat it like a profession. Make sure that you're professional. Make sure that you're doing your research. Do all the work that you need. So be consistent. You know, for me, I try to upload at least three videos a week, but sometimes I'm super busy, so maybe that's just two videos. I truly recommend that if you are a new YouTuber, you at least put out at least two videos a week. Now, if you wanna be an overachiever, go for three or four. I don't know where you're getting that time from, but that's cool. But I suggest that you do at least two videos minimum a week. And my last point, because I know y'all tired. Okay, last point is make sure that you are interactive with your audience. If someone likes your video, if someone makes a comment, whether it's a positive or a negative comment, please make sure that you are interacting with them. If you don't even have the time, maybe you're in a rush somewhere, if you see that somebody comments on your video, at least, the least that you can do, if they took the time to watch you, the least that you can do is comment or like. Maybe it's thank you so much for watching, Watching, love that you love my content what else what are some suggestions of new YouTube content that you will want me to put out just make sure that you're really just pretending like these people are your friends because they really are they're setting out so much time out of their day just to watch you so that is the last point that I have for you guys I hope that this YouTube video was extremely helpful I hope that you can use this video as a tool and as a resource for longevity of success for your new YouTube channel please believe in yourself just know that this process takes time do not compare yourself so just make sure that you just stay in your own lane don't overwork yourself don't put too much pressure on yourself but still put pressure on yourself because you need to put out content and you need to put out legit content that people are actually gonna watch and like so I hope that you guys really love this video please like and subscribe and comment if you please and I can't wait to shoot my next video with you guys I will definitely talk to y'all later